Okay, so that was more for me to make myself laugh there. Maybe you can share that with your your parents to remember what show that's from. Um, maybe you know. So anyway. All right, so lesson two, perimeter and area we are dealing with. Um, so we're hitting some of our bases here. So hopefully some of this is a little bit familiar to you. Um, so for example, our friend perimeter, we're trying to find the perimeter of something. Uh, well, it is the sum of all the length of sides. Now, sum means to Yes, it does mean to add, so we would end up adding up all the sides. So our friend, the triangle, has three sides, so we should be adding how many numbers together? Yeah, it should be three numbers here. So there's your sides. We have an 8 plus a 9 plus a 6. So 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 plus 6, that's 23. Now, um, perimeter is a one-dimensional, just say up here, is one, and it's measured in linear units. So in this case... It's inches. All right. Um, so it's just the units of measurement that you're you're talking about there. Um, perimeter, we have our friend the parallelogram. Remember, the opposite sides in a parallelogram have the same length. So we can add up all of our amounts. We've got an 8 plus a 5 plus an 8 plus a 5. The addition does not matter as in which order that you go in. We can add them all up in any way that we want. Um, I'm going to notice that, uh, you know, 5 plus 8 is 13. Um, another 5 plus 8 is another 13, so a grand total of 26. Remember, it's addition. Um, you could do 5 plus 5 and get 10. 8 plus 8 gets 16. 10 plus 16, it's still 26. So um, make sure we're adding up all the sides, and that's what we're after. Uh, let's jump below here. Um, now we're getting to our friend area, um, specifically the area of a rectangle. All right, um, we're do this, and we kind of saw this before about counting up the boxes. But we found it's a lot easier just to do length times width. The main thing here is length and width always meet at a right angle. So a rectangle has four right angles. It doesn't matter which one that you end up choosing. I can see here the 44 is for this side, the 12 is for this side. So I'm going to do 44 and multiply it times 12. Yes, I'm actually going to do multiplication here. Oh, the applause is so, so, oh, thank you. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is also 8. I got a placeholder working here. 1 times 4 is a 4. 1 times 4 is a 4. I'm running out of space to add all up. Um, but I can go below to my next page. Uh, 8 plus 0 is an 8. 8 plus 4 is a 12. Carry the 1. 528. Now, the thing that I want to focus on here is your units of measurement. Uh, area is measured in square units. Um, because as you saw from before, we were counting up how many squares it took to make up that shape. So this is 528 meters squared. Um, I know it's awkward because we're kind of saying square meters because um, they're squares and they're made out of meters. Uh, but when we do write it out, it is meters squared that we're looking at. Uh, let's try the next one. Um, we got ourselves a square here. A square is four right angles. So we'll multiply the length and the width. So it is 16 times 16. We'll multiply that away. 6 times 6 is 36. Carry the 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3. That's a 9. Placeholder. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. Oh, and happy days. Addition is here. That was for you in case you were scared of the multiplication that was there. All right. Uh, so it's 256. Check your units of measurement. And again, meters squared that we're looking at. So again, area of rectangle. Good friend there. Length times width. Now, our friend, the parallelogram. Parallelogram is very similar to it. It's going to be the base times the height. Now, technically, we kind of see it like length and width because it is where the right angle meets at. But the thing about this is a parallelogram does not come with a right angle symbol. I know, shocking. But parallelograms, that's the difference between them and a rectangle. And a rectangle is going to come with four right angles. A parallelogram is not going to. So base and the height. Sometimes your height 
is outside, um, but the main thing is it always meets at the right angle. So the 4 goes straight up and down, the 10 is our base, so we'll do 4 times 10, hello, 40. So it is 40 centimeters squared because, again, it is area. Um, the height is 10 there. The height could have been right inside there as well. Um, sometimes the height is measured outside the shape. Sometimes it's inside the shape. For the next one here, again, we're going to multiply the base times the height. So I'm going to multiply the 10 and 7 tenths times the 7. Oh, I tell you what, people, I'm feeling good today. I'm doing multiplication, all this type of stuff there. No, no, there's no problems here. 7 times 7 is 49. Carry the 4. 7 times 0 plus 4. That's a little, a little, you know, a little speed version there. 7 times 1 is 7. So, one place value, one place value. Woo! 74 and 9 tenths. Check, grab your calculator to check my work, but I'm going to let you know. There's no need to. There's no need to at all. So, we're at 74 and 9 tenths centimeters squared. So we're just kind of formalizing our formulas that we saw yesterday. Uh, for your triangles, a lot of times we found the area of the square or the rectangle, um, and then we divide it by 2. Now, the reason why we're not using length times width here is because not all, rect not all excuse me, triangles come with a right angle symbol. I know. So that's why sometimes we have to draw it in. And again, that's what those dotted lines are for. Um, it shows, listen, it's not part of the shape, but it's information that I need for it. So here we've got our friend, the, good, the, the right, excuse me, bleh, a right triangle. Um, if we ended up drawing out our rectangle, we could see it'd be a 9 by 6. So that's why we do the 9 times the 6, but then we, again, chop it in half. So we just formalize it here. There's no need to end up drawing in the extras. We know just to do base times height. And again, they meet at the right angle symbol. That's how I know to use the 9 and the 6. Um, and then 54 divided by 2, hello, 27 centimeters. You're impressed there with my division, aren't you? Yes. Now, if you did not know what to do there, we would do some division. I'll get it out off the side for you. 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Oh, my goodness, 2 into 14, exactly 7 times. Hello, 27. All right, so example eight here, it looks bad, but remember, base and the height, um, the base is my five, all right, uh, the height is my eight. Now, again, I know because it's the right angle, so there's my height I'm looking at, and then there's the base it's working off of. Remember, the, it doesn't have to fit inside the actual shape. We don't need to find the extra measurement that's off to the side. Um, our formula takes care of all that for us. We can do a little mental math here. 5 times 8. Yeah, that's 40. All right. And uh, 40 divided by 2? Yep, that's 20. So 20 inches squared. Let's see what's left here. All right. Um, your turn. Um, perimeter and area. So perimeter, what do we? What? Huh? Yeah. Add up all the sides. Area, do a little length times width. Exactly. So um, rectangle, so opposite sides of 20, opposite sides of 41. We're going to add them all up. If you'd like to stack them, because you'd like to do that, um, if you'd like to group them as well, because I know this is going to be a 40, um, if you'd rather just stack and you know add it up old school, all that type of stuff, oops, I'm not supposed to carry a 1, um, you can do that as well. So let's see here, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 and 4 is 12, so it's 122. So the perimeter is 122 inches. Remember, just inches because... It's perimeter. Perimeter is just a length. Area, I'm going to do length times width. Um, all four corners are right angles, so one number would be 41. The other one would be 820. One times zero is zero. Yeah, zero. There's a shortcut, a little faster way of doing it, but I'm just going to stick to the basics here. Two times one is a two. Two times four is an eight. Hello, 820. Now, do you see how that was kind of silly there? I could have done a 41 times two is 82, and I still have a 10, so 82 tens, which is 820, and here it would be inches squared that we're looking at. All right, so here's what I'd like you to do. Um, I'd like you to stop right there. All right. Uh, what we'll end up doing is we'll practice a few of these in class just to kind of make sure things are, are going through rather um, 
rather quickly, rather smoothly. All right. Um, the main thing here is showing what you are doing. Uh, don't just ever just throw an answer down without some sort of work to go along with it. Sound good? Ta-da.